Okay, here, so we come to the resolution. This will determine the resolution of the dam. So, because we are doing the resampling, because I want to reduce the resolution of the dam, because now currently it's uh, 30 meter. So 30 meter with this a huge area, actually it will take too much time for this kind of uh, computer. So if you make the resolution, like for example, you keep it 30, you need to leave the computer run uh, for uh, some time until you get all the slope units within the size of the resolution of 30 meter. Okay, so it depends depend on your machine, depend on uh, your uh, scale. To start with the 30 or 40, so let's uh, keep it with uh, 30 meter and then we will leave the PC for some time and we will calculate the time, the average time and then we'll come back after we are getting the final result. So here is the dam we have and the lunchtime body counts. Now, after we get the analysis output of using the, the hydrological analysis to get the slope units, you see now we have uh, a high dense uh, slope units features available uh, because we use 30 meter uh, resolution. So, as you increase the number, you reduce the resolution, you will get less number of uh, slope units. So that's mean if you reach to the 30 meter, so you are using the full capacity of the dam because the dam almost here is 30 meter. So that's mean you are using the full information of the dam. If you increase it, you will uh, you will reduce the accuracy of the resolution of the dam. So you will have largest features. But that's mean you will have, as we said, uh, generalization. So if you have very high dense. Uh, uh, channel network you will try to take uh, bigger rivers instead of using small rivers using high resolution using the small rivers and it can uh, develop uh, a small slope units if you use the big rivers with if you use less resolution that's a big number for the pixel or for the uh, for the unit the uh, big rivers will create big slope units which is not the uh, it will show like even bigger than this, the real slope itself so it will be very huge it won't reflect the reality so for resolution try to stick to the resolution of the dam that you have here after the run also we show that we have a great range of area of the slope units start from 900 why started from 900 because it was the minimum uh, cell size we give three, uh, 30 so 30 multiplied by 30, this is the 900, okay, it's the smallest uh, value for the slope units and the biggest, it's open based on our dam, based on the, uh, the density of the network, based on the uh, hydrological uh, units and watershed and blah, blah. Okay, so you have a uh, great amount, so here we have like even until 44, 44 million the area of the cell so we have a great variety later now as if we created a grid we have a grid based on this grid as we did in the previous step we we have a grid for all the study area now we have a grid to all the study area but the grid is not a uh, square it's look like slope units that's all so now after this step you can choose Oh, so select from all of this the area and the, 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 the randomly how many uh, landslide points do you have you have 30 or 300 so just randomly select 300 out of the slope units okay uh, by intersection you have the data either points of polygon landslide points or po polygons you intersect with the current uh, with the current uh, slope units then you will extract just the slope units that cover the slopes, the uh, landslides. Uh, while uh, for the non-landslides, also we will choose just the area within the 
less than 5 degrees or whatever that we have the slope here to a 6 or something less than 6 degrees so we will choose choose from this less than 6 degrees and you choose randomly our uh, null landslide uh, slope units okay so now after this step you can start comfortably to apply other points or polygons feature depend on your data but this step is not depend about the uh, landslide uh, location it just depend on the den if you remember we just add the den information and then we define the uh, resolution okay so now we see the it's a great output we have we see always have negative positive positive negative because as we said that the den itself first when we fill it we change it or we reverse the then one for a positive one negative and then we continue the steps for finding the flow accumulation uh, uh, flow direction and the, the catchment area and then we find the channels and then we will intersect them okay the positive and negative and it will determine the slope units as shown previously in the slides okay so let's just save this one actually for you to be safe in there any future crash or something um, the most important the most important uh, uh, feature now it's the slide win class one this one others they are just steps but I let it come with the output for you to check what kind of channels that you created how much it, the density of it and uh, uh, how much the uh, the, the integrity of the data when you compare with the them so if you want to see them now yeah so this is all the slope units that we have you see how it's very high density here so if you want to see the close everything I'll show you just the channels yes this is the dam and with the channels so you see it's coming with the uh, the peak elevation of the slopes and the others is coming with the values so this is the positive this is the negative so the relationship between them the intersection it will create this slope. so as you said this is the the reverse and the others they are in the top of the mountains so you are familiar with this hydrology network or the uh, uh, drains all right what else we have the after we make the union and convert to the polygons and uh, there is some feature will be overlap so we clean them so we'll have the units now it seems that aspects of the slopes here also you can see the resolution this area you see it's a uh, this is like there is one value of stops here so you will have too much uh, problems here because it's all zero it's almost one uh, one one value of slope so you know you will start to have this uh, problem over the triangles or the data that uh, try to uh, uh, partition it this area but because it has one degree so it will be very confusing so you can see uh, anyway, we have nothing to do with this area except it's showing the non landslide areas, which is here it's all zero because it's with the seaside. Anyway, let's come to the output, which is we really interested in. So the output, you see, if we if we choose to use the points, we will have just the intersection. Let's put this here and it'll be more clearer. Okay, so you see, it's the the slopes that intersect with our uh, polygons. So definitely, you see here every polygon when it's fall within a specific slopes. So the slope units, it's falling within a specific uh, common uh, areas. Actually, why? You see here, if you increase the resolution, you will get. I mean, if you make the resolution like thirty meter or less you will have a, a high density so some some drains they are not effective but 
we showed here we ask for 30 meter that means even show us the smallest or the highest uh, density or the highest contribution uh, drainage here so even it's very slight because the dam uh, consider to be uh, for one uh, to four hundred thousand scale 30 meter it's very very high resolution so even here it shows us very high resolution with the stop limits so if you choose 40 for example you you will um, understand that you will get for example instead of four units you will get one unit okay so as well, here as well instead of two you will have many, maybe only one increase the uh, value for the pixel instead of 30 you make it 40 you will have less number of stop limits okay so as you see from here this is the clean using the points or using the polygons it select from this clean let's see here yes notice so the clean is represent our slab units and then based on the yes based on the uh, target on the landslides it's intersect whatever it's intersect it show us the unit so we won't use the uh, landslide data we will use the slab units now slab units become as our landslide data this here, yeah. Whenever you have intersection, give us as this stuff. So we have a very huge uh, network of stop units. So I ask the software to intersect and show us just the area that intersect with the landslide data. Okay, so as you see here, if we use the points in the first step that when we define the dam this is the first step define the dam landslide points if you add the polygons landslide polygons you will have like for every for every landslide you will have maybe two or three slab units but if you use the point that means your data uh, resolution very low if you just have points you don't have anything else you will expect to have also uh, one stop unit for every point okay okay so far so good so now the clean and the slides units the most important data what you can do you can save them for uh, future analysis the clean on the slides or you continue with the processing because all of the data here are temporary as we said they're all temporary data as soon as you close the software it will disappear okay so even if you save here but it's a temporary data okay so now we are ready now to continue with the steps same as the grid now we have the training data uh, we have the uh, landslide data which is represent the slides units instead of the original uh, uh, data original one slide it become now as slide units or slope units okay so all the process now will follow those units so if you see here there is four or five units it's considered to be one landslide same as when we did with the pixels you see it was one landslide with the polygons represented by five or eight pixels here represented by three or four slope units what you can notice as well here that number of pixels or number of the uh, features become less as we mentioned earlier so if you have for every landslide if we have like for example 9 or 10 pixels minimum based on the, uh, the dimension of one pixel we will have min maximum 3 or 4 slope units so this will make the work easier and will reduce the time and uh, make the uh, result more clear because uh, this shapes the shapes of those units is come from the real shape of the slopes if you just overlay with the uh, slope itself we have the, the dam here it 
it all come from uh, the real shape of the uh, network yeah. let's make it very easy yeah if you see here now put the lines above it yes see the intersection the intersection lines create for us those units so on the network positive negative positive negative and then later on yes, we chose just specific slope units okay fine 